we got a, a message one day to say all the hostages are finished and the armistice had been signed. <clears throat> and as we was all part of the first Commonwealth Division, there was all these different nationalities in this Commonwealth Division. And uh, they decided after all this had finished, uh, they decided to hold a sports meeting, uh, or a gathering, and what's the name, and uh, they made this track up. <clears throat> and they decided to have this, uh, what's the name, sports event. Whereas I'd done a lot of running before, I used to do a lot of running, and um, there was a chap in our unit, one of the medics, he used to be the Southern Area's cross-country champion, or he was, and uh, <coughs> after all the hostilities, we used to go for a run together, like, you know, but uh, I, I could always outpace him. So we decided to uh, have a go at this uh, sports meeting, and <coughs> the last event was a three-mile event. So me and him entered this three-mile event. I don't know what happened to him, but that day uh, I got my tactics all wrong and I only come third. <laughs> so I came third in the Commonwealth Division, three mile out of all the lot. How many? I don't know. Well, <clears throat> all that had entered out of the Commonwealth Division, there was it, the race was won by a New Zealand chap. I can't remember who came second, what nationality he was. You think you could have won that? <clears throat> If I'd have kept up with the front, yeah, probably.